I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Baltimore, that's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. What do we do as Lutherans, and what do we think of things like cities that are in turmoil and the like? In Baltimore, where a young man has died, and now a city seems to be ripping itself apart, burning and looting, what do we think? Well, racism, in any form, Black against black, black against white, white against black, um, discrimination of any sort, a misuse of power, all of that is evil. And, and we should be repented of. If it's in our midst or if, it's, or, or if we see it in others, um, we should mourn that this goes on in our world. But we should also hesitate to make judgments on anyone, either on the people who are doing what seem to be doing evil things or the police which seem to have done something um, wrong as well. We should reserve judgment until we have all the facts. And even when we have all the facts, we should let those people who are given to judge, judge. We're given to pray. We're given to, to, to thank God that he contains manifest lawlessness because that's what this is. When you see things being thrown and people being beaten up on the street, when you see items being thrown and buildings burning, that's lawlessness. And, and everybody is capable of, su of, su of said sins. That's not unique to one area or one people or poverty-stricken people. Everyone is given to some form of lawlessness because we're fallen people. And so we see lawlessness and we mourn it. We pray for those who are near the lawlessness. We pray for safety. We pray for people to be at peace. And we pray for justice to be done, even if we may not agree with it. We pray for the Lord to do justice through the means in which he has given for that justice to be done. And we thank God for the government. Because the government contains lawlessness and, and, and pushes lawlessness down. It curbs our sin and our evil desires. We don't know what's going on or why it happened. But we do know that God in Christ has reconciled the world to himself. All men, no matter what, where they're from, or what color of their skin, have been saved by the death of Christ. And that means that, we're, that we, we see the world as forgiven. And when we see that rejection of that, when we see people living for themselves, we mourn it. Uh, and in, in the first use of the law, we allow the government to tend to it. It is the government who's going to determine guilt or innocence, not us. It is the government that's going to punish, not us. God's given the sword to the government to do that. Well, what about if the government's wrong? Well, if the government's wrong, then, then we can peacefully protest the government, or we can elect a new government in America. But what we don't do is take to violence or take vengeance into our own hands or execute judgment on someone else or something else. See, the fact of the matter is, as I sit here, I don't know why that young man is dead. I know some facts, but not all of them. And I'm mourn and I'm praying for the family of the victims of this. And I'm praying that God would, would give peace to a community that desperately needs peace. And that the, and the, and that, and that the churches of that area would, would demonstrate Christ's love to a community that desperately needs it. And so, as we sort of contemplate just things we do not understand, we ask the Lord to forgive us of our sins and to forgive us of our hard hearts, and to have mercy on those who are doing evil things, and to call them to repentance, and to use the government to contain them, but also to use the gospel, the law and the gospel, to bring about contrition and repentance. Because the only thing which is going to save people, like you and me, um, who are lost, is Christ. And, 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 and when we see evil, it's not given for us to judge that evil. It's given us to mourn and pray. For Christ is coming, and he's going to bring an end to all this discord. And he's going to call us away from our, 
from, from the life that we think is right and the justice that we think is real to a universe where he is king, the universe that is now with him king. So we're praying for Baltimore. We're waiting for justice. We're reserving judgment. We have no room for judging the police or the looters. But we have no room also to allow lawlessness to go on. And so we're praying for the government and its first use to contain that sin. And we're praying for the people, their safety. It's a terribly sad thing. But this is the way more lawlessness looks. And the only rescue is Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.